And besides the banking industry, foreign companies are also expected to struggle, especially with the country's economy forecast to go into a recession next year. CCTV's Anya Ardayeva finds out how they're trying not to lose money. Economic forecasts suggest that Russia's economy will slide into a recession next year, accompanied by skyrocketing prices and double-digit inflation. And as Russia's currency, the ruble, is still recovering from a massive plunge last week, foreign business owners in Russia are bracing themselves for a tough year ahead. Well, I think uh, clearly ruble weakness is presenting challenges uh, with regard to those suppliers uh, that are present and established here. Uh, in terms of uh, imports into Russia, this is quite a significant challenge, obviously, because uh, weaker ruble uh, stokes uh, import substitution and uh, presents uh, essentially a barrier to greater inflows of imports into the country. At this Chinese restaurant on the campus of People's Friendship University of Russia in Moscow, Chinese businesswoman Ms. Chen says the ruble rate directly affects her profits. My biggest wish is for the ruble exchange rate to stabilize so that my restaurant can have a stable profit. This way we won't have to keep changing prices on our menu. Chen says the costs of running her restaurant went up 25 to 35 percent as the crisis worsened. Russian President Vladimir Putin voiced confidence last week that the economy would recover, but said it could take up to two years to normalize. For uh, those companies that have significant foreign investment, it doesn't necessarily entail, um, say, any losses or any significant negative factors with regard to ongoing operations here. But in terms of any plans for further investment or further expansion in Russia, Clearly, such decisions would have to be on hold uh, until uh, this volatility subsides. Last week, IKEA Russia suspended sales of some of its products for two days, citing a large number of orders being processed. Technology giant Apple, too, halted its online sales due to extreme fluctuations of the ruble. Both companies are now raising their prices in Russia, with Apple hiking iPhone prices by 35 percent, its second increase in less than a month. Anya Daiva, CCTV, Moscow.